Here we are before the next match. We already saw Night Man in action earlier in this brutal Hell in a Cell encounter with Indy Hardware where she might have ended the career or even worse of Indy Hardware. I mean in the end after after repeatedly tossing Indy to the cell roof pieces and um Nightmare picked Indy up on her shoulders, tosses her back first against the, tosses her so hard with so much power, with so much demonic force that Indy landed back first against the against the steel cell with absolutely no protection and also without any protection, head first against the apron so Indy hopefully will be will recover at some point from this but it's not easy to recover from that painful landing. I mean, without any protection, back first against the cell wall and head first against the apron. With the, so much force, I mean, hopefully she's alright. And also, we saw just a couple of moments ago, Nightmare's brother, um, Desimon Jr., uh, got the victory over Dexter Loomis thanks to the appearance of Papa Shango for some reason, who helped out Desimon Jr., distracting Dexter Loomis, who let out some of his anger on Papa Shango. And this was a distraction Junior needed to pick up the victory in this match. And next up we and now we just start with this match before seeing Nightman Junior's dead in action in order to try to uh, in order to try to defend his uh, in order to defend his NXT championship against Samoa Joe. With Ken LeMay's music, there she is. With a mask on that signals the respect and the sign of respect and tribute. To a newfound family, to a newfound family members, nightmare, and Desimon Jr. who wear the mask in the pa mask in the past, and now Candice says the demon own her, and she she loves her demons and that her ass belongs to them. That's what her new clothes and her new gear says. And look at nightmare. Oh, well, she's ready. It's a tag team match scored. scheduled for one fall, and is for the NXT Women's Tag. Team Championship! Introducing the challengers, the family! And we saw Nightmare so using her powers, of course not, Michael. Any time the tag title gaining her powers, being confident the about those powers. Level of importance. So I bring herself to the disliking of the crowd as she feels the demonic powers, the half demonic powers, because her dad is a demonic creature. He's no human, but her mother was a human, so she's a half demon. Much like her brother, the Demon Jr. And now, perhaps, what she needs is a new tag team partner with Cancel Away, who knows? I mean, they already defeated the tag team champions uh, this past week on NXT in order to get this title match because there wouldn't be another, there wouldn't be no title match here tonight because there wouldn't be any other challenger able to uh, challenge EO or Amber because they're busy otherwise. So. As out comes Io Shirai, and remember the last pay-per-view those Io and Amber getting the victory over Cancel away and Indy Hardware when they were the way, but then for some reasons after weeks of and weeks of attacks from Nightmare, both Cans and Indy, um, Indy and Cans had an argument which lead to Candice costing Indy the matchup against Nightmare a couple of weeks ago in NXT, and um, yeah, and then the breakup might have been complete between Indy and Can uh, Candice. I mean. Now Candice is running away with Nightmare. Maybe that's the end of the way. For one reason or another. But maybe it's not, who knows. As there comes Im Ember Moon. As we saw the genies of the sky with the gold. There comes some war goddess. The Shinam. <laughs> and Michael. She is one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Ember Moon! A woman who reinvented herself with her return to NXT and found a compelling ally in Shotzi Blackheart winning the Women's Tag Team titles. Ember Moon always game, always ready, always focused. Yeah, indeed, and she's one of the best women's performers within the entire WWE, in my opinion, alongside with Candice LeRae. 
And we saw Nightmares, the more like destructive so far. Mercury we're also getting a huge pay-per-view victory in her pay-per-debut, the last pay-per-view over Casey Catanzaro in a very good match, very compelling match. And also Io, well, she's one hell of a high flyer, <laughs> can tell you that. And here we are, seeing the tag tiles, beautiful tag tiles, but I think the red light was because of the demonic powers that the tile could get. I mean, already we feel the demonic powers of Nightmare's dad, Desimon Senior, with after before and after even and, and before and after capturing the NXT title. I mean, you already injured Tom two of the toughest men in the entire company with Tommaso Champ and Timothy Thatcher, and then uh, also the swing our general manager when we and a kid as well. And now we will find out today if Samoa Joe can stop the demonic force after this match. But both men, both matches, I could be one hell of performances here from everybody. It looked like Canis and Io starting the matchup. So und zwar muss ich Eel steuern, Candice und Nightmare. So, das ist So. NXT Women's Tag Titles. The competition in NXT's Women's Division has grown even more intense since the Tag Championships were introduced. This match is going to be good. situation. Elimination could be lurking just around the corner this late in the game. Wow, that hurt. Now this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Carefully measure double stop. She's just appearing powerless to each attack. Yeah, she's being met with a roadblock every time. Oh, what a knee. Uses the edge of the knee. Challenger being outclassed here. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. Carefully measured knee drop. And now Eo's in control. 
Shirai looking unstoppable. Boom! Did you hear the impact? And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. 